After being on a lot of Instagram photos of FJ Cruisers, I fell in love with the look of the off-road garages snorkel. I've seen a video or two talking about how I didn't install that well. I was curious about it, so I bit the bullet, ordered this thing, and it is not cheap. It ships from Kazakhstan and took about a month to get, but it showed up in a very nice, hard, thick cardboard package. Packaged very well with kind of the most interesting packing I've ever seen. One of the main complaints you hear about this snorkel is there's no instructions, but that's really not true. If you go to their website, very easy to see link that shows you their instructions. So no, there's not printed instructions in the box, but they have them on their website. This kit does take a little bit of extra work than the $150 ones that you see on eBay where you just drill a hole and bolt it on. And some of the work has to do with these clips. <laughs> these are, Toyota's good about making stuff, but these clips are just terrible. I think I wind up breaking them all. I'm using the proper tool here and get underneath, prize up and it's broke. And look, it's broken the other side from where I was prying. It's, they're just junk dry rot I don't know so I tried to put a little bit of PB blaster on them see how that turned out uh, make them lubricate to come off spray them all down let it soak in go back at it with the tool and you get it underneath there like this one's loose you can tell right off the bat it's it, it just broke it just broke I, I don't know why they don't look like they've ever been off you got even try a screwdriver. Look at that. So you get underneath there, just kind of pry it up, pull it with your finger, and another broke one. Um, there's also another, I guess you'd call it grommet or clip that they use. All of these and the other one that I'll show you later, just order them. This little rubber thing, I took it off. Don't think you may have had to, but I did. It comes off pretty easy. Bring an eight millimeter wrench, unscrew the antenna get it out of the way once you get it out of the way we're gonna to to take this little cover off this is where the snorkel will come through this little black deal is just a grommet you can pull up on it it it, it won't move so PB blaster is your friend just a little squirt dig your fingers up underneath it and it just slid right off no problem now I thought this was a plastic panel originally and I was just gonna pop it up and I've got my metal pry tool but that is a terrible idea I was just so afraid of breaking I went and got a plastic pry tool I pried and pried and pried. I've never taken one of these off it goes on at a really weird angle and the, the, <laughs> the best I can say to do is just work it up this back corner may be the thing you like closer to the door where you really want to pop up first if you can pull it right there and then the back corner and get it over that piece it i think it would that's what you want to do first but i can't tell you how to get it off i just finally got tired of it figuring that it wasn't ever going to get used again and got my fingers underneath it and just ripped it off i've heard people say that it, that they break the plastic clips mine didn't break it came off so should be able to put it back on if i ever need to Also, I'm holding my phone. Uh, my camera was, is on loan to a friend, and so this whole thing is done with a phone. Uh, I probably will never shoot another video like this. Quality is fine, but you gotta use a tripod. Just had to get rowdy with it. The clips didn't break. Kinda nice. Save this piece in case you ever wanna take this snorkel off. Go back to this panel. There's four little clips underneath. This isn't a how-to. This is just a how I did. Um, their instructions are pretty good, but you gotta think about the, what you're doing. I mean, it says take the fender off, so you just take it off. You gotta, it doesn't tell you exactly every step by step. And as you can see, I've got fender flares and different stuff on mine. And 
what you have done to your FJ will change the deal. But this little piece just pops off. Now you gotta get the fender, fender liner out of the way. Which can be kind of a nightmare. Like these are actually, I'm taking off these bolts because they hold on my fender flares. And then there's one down here. Couldn't get the gun on it, so I used a ratcheting in wrench. This little panel here is between the door and the fender. It's kind of a nightmare to get off. It really is. There's some little push-in pins. They, they Those pins come out easy. It's just getting them pushed in and getting that little piece of, I guess you'd call it like beauty out of the way because you have to get that out of the way to get to one of the bolts that hold the front fender on. And then we're going to start unbolting the front fender. As it's coming off. This is the other fasteners here. They actually hold the fender liner on and and really and truly I'd like to take whatever engineer designed these and shoot them in the face. Um because they're, they're in there really good, I will say that, but they just will not come out. I have to, you have to count them up. I think there's five or six of them. This one and the other one, just go to Toyota and you order your snorkel, order these. Don't know how much they are, but they'd be worth it. There he goes, the fender's off. It's like the magic of cinema. Um, once I got through fighting those things, these little, these, uh, the bane of my existence. But anyways, got those out of there now there's this bracket that is noticeable you put your snorkel up there you'll see this bracket has to come off they talk about it in their instructions i just took my dremel i didn't want to make a big mess with the cutoff wheel so i had a little dremel with a little cutoff wheel and it's pretty easy to cut it and see where you need to do it it has to come off now i use the snorkel itself in a spot that they have kind of designed that way to replace this to support the vendor and you'll see but you cut it at the top and bottom and it just comes right off. I just pull it out of the way. And then back here where I think it's the antenna mount, there's a spot weld. You'll just drill that spot weld out. Take that bracket out of the way. The, the snorkel hits it. Like I said, this is a permanent mod to your FJ. So You'll fit it up. You'll notice that there's a bolt that it bumps up against. I don't know if it had to come out. So I held it up there. The bolt that bumped into it. I pulled it. I couldn't see that it was hurting anything. It was more of like a support bracket and there's other bolts in there. So I'm not going to say it's unnecessary. I deemed it unnecessary and pulled it out just to make the installation better. But see it kind of rocking on that bolt. Maybe you could pull it off and put like a flat screw head in there, but it's just a little 10 millimeter bolt. Didn't seem structural, so I ripped it out of there. So, some people have talked about how the adapter didn't fit their airbox. I don't know if it was because of the previous stuff they had installed on there. This one fits in there really tight. As you can see, it slides in there and slides in there perfectly, like without any issues and it's tight. Um, I did put some silicone around everything when I installed it, but as you can see, it was in there tight. It held itself up there. I did go get some tape just to hold it in place as I made sure everything lined up. I, there's a lot of like, if I did this again, I would do it a little different, but I mean, honestly, the videos that I'm showing you are kind of what I had to do to do it. So it wasn't that big of a deal. A blue tape, hold it up there. And this is the perfect time. Grab the top of the snorkel so I can get a preview of what I'm doing and sit there i to make sure it clears everything, not hitting everything, because once you get that lower piece mounted and the fender on, you, there's no really no adjusting it. I, mean, I guess you could go from under the fender and make some adjustments, but not really. It's 
there's not very much adjustment you can do once you get the fender on. So um, yeah, I'm gonna make sure it clears everything and fits up tightly. As you can see, it sits there just fine clears everything and it, this is a perfect time to close your hood i didn't close it all the way because i didn't want it to latch but i just wanted to make sure it cleared and in my original setting it did kind of bump but i was able to adjust everything before i bolted it down and make sure it did not bump adjust it up make sure it's tight raise the hood back up make sure it didn't put there's the wire for the antenna yeah the antenna is inside this thing now it's kind of a cool little design i like that so the instructions show you how to move the antenna to where it's supposed to go so that, that's a pretty easy thing to do but it clears so i'm very happy with how, how it cleared and went on i mean it was expecting more trouble out of some of the other things I've seen and I, I didn't have those troubles at all. I mean, it, no, it wasn't a factory Toyota part, but it was close. Look at this, the, the door clears it like has plenty of room. I like how that's designed to next we'll make sure this all lines up properly and then we'll get the the upper mount done which basically unbolt the rack on this side and on the driver's side and then loosen the ones behind it on this upper rack you'll see here in a second i was just making sure this cleared it's being overly cautious and it, it's close very close but it does clear Here's that bracket. That, that one bend you see there was already there, that little bend. But this bend, it was flat. And you could tell it needed to be bent. They have cutouts in it. So I beat this thing down, a couple little hammer marks. And I didn't want to break, get the brake out to do this. And I'm in the middle of moving shops. So that's why the mess is there. I'll we'll have a video soon of the new shop. But I'm just working this thing down, trying to get it to bend. There's holes in the snorkel where this bolts up it's pretty self-explanatory this piece of little stainless bends easy enough they make great marks in it and lines up i mean more than perfectly so see so bolt screws in there little screws hold it in and then it sits right there i mean it could not have been easier And down here, I decided to use a rev nut. I love rev nuts. So made a rev nut. I made, put it on where I was gonna put it, made some marks, and then I uh, drilled it out. And then that's where the antenna mounts. I rerouted the windshield washer hose. You'll see that I went inside right there. It used to come out where my finger was and routed in there because it seemed like the snowball could possibly pinch that. That happened, so. Here's that piece that was a pain between the door and the front fender. As you see, I cut it out right there. There was a little hump there. I just took a razor knife, cut that hump out, so now I can get to that bolt and I can install this little rubber piece on before the fender was mounted. It made a world of difference and it's just a beauty area. This is where you have to cut. The instructions show you where to cut. So I cut a little less than what it said, offered it up, got my grinder grinded it down until it fit perfectly and then i taped around the edge and i'm, I'm spray painting this because i don't want it to rust uh, we don't have much rust here in texas but i didn't want to deal with it later rust running down the side it was whatever, but and i just like i said taped the edge i have a white fj so it was easy enough to match it you can't see this anyways but you could use clear paint i guess or if you have a color that's close, I mean, I'm literally just getting the edge that is covered up by the snorkel. As you see, it fits great. Drop right in there. All the bolts are in. Fits nicely. Gotta put the cover on it. You'll notice here in a second, I'll show you where 
I went to the hardware store, got a stainless steel screw right here, put a couple washers as a spacer, drilled that out, and then I put that screw right there to replace that fender support. Worked really good. Um, maybe could have used one of their mounts, but I didn't. But here it is installed. I mean, like I said, this isn't a how-to. This is just a what I did. And this product is really, really nice. I mean, I... I, my FJ basically in the fenders and the hood is all pretty stock so it went right on I just followed their instructions on their website and I'm very happy with it um, the hood clears it's close it's very close um, but the hood clears see that little panel went back on I got to order those little push pins I want them in there the way they're supposed to be I'm trying to make this thing as nice and as factory as possible but i'm very happy with it the, once again the website has instructions and just a little bit of research shows you that but ah, cinematic view of the old fj thanks for watching um i got more videos coming as you see i have a new shop so please like and subscribe and get to see all the new cool stuff that we're doing